Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, the Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful the out there, out there. Pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. That may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver Camp coming back once again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And this is just going to be a quick hitter, man, as I make my way to this part to work out. You know, and just pushing the proper vibration and spirit of the times we're coming into, man, where we as Israelites are going to be demonized. Let me see, the, the true believers are going to be demonized for standing for righteousness because we know that we have Israelites out here who are not moving in the proper spirit. They're not pushing the right doctrine. They're not calling upon the right names. They're not moving in the pro uh, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine doing as we've been commanded to do, you know, following Yahweh Shine's example. So when I say we're going to be persecuted, I'm talking about the, the true believers, man. Those who are suffering, you see, and partaking in the Lord's suffering. That's what, that's what I'm speaking on. But we see what this devil Esau is doing. We see that he's pushing forth his propaganda, you know, and trying to tie this ministry to some type of uh, domestic terrorist or some type of extreme, some extreme thing so he can be justified in coming up against us. And as the Lord Yahweh Shah has told us, man, they're going to say all manner of things against us falsely for our namesake. You're going to see them uh, pull videos from these off groups to, to talk to uh, try to tie it to the true believers. You're going to see them use these videos and these events that are taking place with these off groups to tie it to the true believers, to lump us all in, you know, together. When we constantly say that we're not affiliated with any of these groups out here, you see? But we know that Esau is the devil. But this is what's going to be done. And the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and elders, man, we have been set up to give you, you know, the exhortation and the admonition so you can walk in the proper spirit to be prepared for what's coming, you see? Because you have guys out here, leaders out here telling you ain't no tribulation coming when... That's what it has to be for us to get into the kingdom. You see? This is what it has to be. There's no way around it. You see? And Yahweh Shah is our chief example of that. So what I want to go into real quick is this Matthew 5. You know, the words of, uh, of the Lord Yahweh Shah exhorting us. You see, uh, and basically, man, let us know that everything is going to be okay. You know, because you sit around and you think about all the different outcomes and how this thing could play out. And what if I'm put in this position, what I'm in uh, this situation, or what if I'm in this position, or whatever it may be, man. You know, the, the type of thoughts that come through your mind as you meditate on these things. But... The Lord Yahweh Shah told us, man, it was going to be all right. 
because we're in a blessed position because the reason we're going to be persecuted is because we're standing for what's right. You see? We're going to be persecuted because what? We want the most high's will been done on the earth. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You see? As a matter of fact, let's get this. Isaiah 59 and 15 it says, Yea, truth felleth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself afraid. And yet, how about you? I wish I saw it, and it displeased them that there was no judgment. So, what's being done unto the truth, to, unto the true believers, man? It's displeasing in the sight of the Most High. You see? That he, his remnant is down here and longing for righteousness to be established. And because we walk in that spirit, we're demonized and we're persecuted. That pisses the Most High off, man. This is what you must understand. I don't understand. Because we, we left off from the evil spirit of this world of walking in complete wickedness. To turn back to our power through faith in the Son Yahweh Shai, you know, we're we're made a prey. We become an enemy to this world, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai before us. You see, but what they plan on doing to us, man, the Most High is not. He's not for that shit. The Most High is not going to justify these people. The Most High is not going to uphold these wicked ways that are being uplifted and exalted and propagated in the earth. This is why he set up his prophets to condemn this place. You see, we've been set up to condemn this place, the rulers of this world, and these wicked ass people who are going along with the wickedness that's being pushed forth, especially two thirds of our people. We're set up to condemn this man. And, and give the world a true understanding of the Most High's will and let them know that judgment is coming. That's what's pleasing the sight of the Most High. So if we continue on in this life, man. So if we continue on in this spirit of sign and crime for all the wickedness that goes on, what's going to happen? Let's show you. <laughs> this is Ezekiel 9. And four, it says what? And Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh says unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and say they mark upon the forehead of the men that signed that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst of it. And that's the prophets and the true believers, man. Sign the cry for all this wickedness that goes on. Begging. <laughs> so like, begging. The Almighty sent you how I shot back to correct everything, man. And if we continue on in that spirit, we're going to receive that, that mark. That Hebrew word for mark right there goes into Kawa, which is an exemption for judgment. Because that's what, that's what the Most High wants to see from his remnant, man. He wants us to sign the cry. He wants us to complain about all this madness that's going on down here. The complete chaos and disorder. That we see everywhere in this earth. You see the worshiping of idols. The practice of homosexuality and lesbianism. You see. Acts of bestiality. All manner of wickedness is going on man. Adultery. People are struggling on drugs. All type of shit. Children are being sacrificed. And molested. Yeah how about Shemi I wish I want to sign the crime. For all this shit that's going on man. That's well pleasing in his sight. And if we continue to sigh and cry and complain to the Lord, it's like it. He's going to allow us to be exempt from judgment, man. And this is what we want. So there's no way 
that Yahweh by Shem is going to allow us to be given over to the hand of the enemy. And if we are, it's for his glorification. So we're in a blessed position, man, to even have this spirit to do what we do. To have the gift of faith to believe upon the words of the Most High, man. To believe upon Yahweh Shai. We are in a blessed position above everybody on this planet, man. And the world is going to recognize that very soon. Because the Most High is going to put it on full display for everyone to see. So verse 5 goes on to say, it says what? And to the others he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the, through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin in my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which are before the house. So that's what's coming. Great judgment. It's coming upon all those who are walking in that spirit of rebellion against the Most High. Great judgment is coming upon all those who are coming up against the prophets of the Lord, man. And it's going to begin with people who know they're Israelites. You see, if you're not moving in the spirit as the remnant is, you're going to be condemned, man. So that lets us know. That everyone outside of the room, they're, they're, they're done for, man. The Most High is not for these people. So let Esau come with this bullshit. Let him come with this persecution because we know and understand that all we've done was uplift and exalt Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah as we've been created to do. We've condemned this place as the Most High created us to do, man. And because of that, we're going to be exempt from judgment, Lord. We're going to be a part of that number. So let's go into this main thing I want to get, which is Matthew 5, and go into what the Lord said, man. Because this is what it is when it's all said and done. The persecution must come, but it's okay, man. It is okay. We're in a blessed position to be persecuted. For standing boldly for the name of the Lord, man. So this is uh Matthew 5 and 1. It says what? Seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And what does that mean, man? Us who are oppressed. You see, us who are longing for righteousness to be established, man. Us who are longing for the kingdom of heaven to be set up. You see? Us who are tired of being oppressed and being up under the feet of the evil. It says, ours is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 4 says what? Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And we're in the state of mourning right now. Why? Because of this condition that we're in. We're in the state of mourning because we're on the bottom. We're under the curses. You see? We're under the curses and the remnant. We're tired of it, man. This, this beautiful gospel has been revealed unto us, and we're longing to see it fulfilled. You see? It says, well, blessed are the meek. And, and the meek are who? Those, who? those who hear this word and easily grasp it, man. Who are not bugging it and asking all these damn questions of why I got to be this way or why I got to be that way. We, they, the meek, know and understand that everything is all according to the Most High's will. And they're all for it. You see? Moving in that spirit of faith, man. It says, well, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And this is what we're coming into. All these events we see taking place in the earth, you see, show us that the end of our captivity is at hand, man. And we're going to come into what the Most High has promised us through the mouth of the prophets. The Most High told us, man, the saints are going to inherit the kingdom and possess it forever, even forever and ever, man. You see? This is what the remnant is longing for. 
It goes on to say what? Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they should be filled. And once again, this is what we long for, man. We hunger and thirst to be as Yahweh is, completely righteous, perfect, immortal, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and perfection as Mosai wanted us to do from the beginning. We're going to receive that, man. That's coming. It says what? Verse 7. Blessed be the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the most high. You see? It says what? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the most high. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You got to know and understand that this is the only reason that Esau is coming down the road to the wrath. Because of this righteous word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that we're preaching and prophesying each and every day, condemning this damn devil to his face. This is why we're going to be persecuted, man. And it says, well, blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness. Say, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're going to receive for doing this work for the Lord, man. And it tells us what? What does it tell us? That the work that we do for the Lord is not in vain. It goes on to say, it says what? Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, you shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And that's what's about to be done. It's what's being done now. That's what all the propaganda is about. This is why Volcan Malone is being set up. This is why you had all these uh, different events take place with uh, uh, men and women who are so-called Hebrew Israelites, like the shit that happened in New Jersey. Or this other guy who fell who fell away and ended up killing his fucking wife. Those things are going to be used against us to demonize us, man. So they can be justified in coming up against us, you know, to destroy us for righteousness. For, for standing for righteousness, let me say that. And this is all done because we serve the Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? This is what it is, man. This is what it is. Damn. Stop. This is what it is. It go Salakia. Fucking flesh, man. Salakia. It says, uh, verse 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. So when these things start to happen as we see them playing out right before our eyes. We're not supposed to be in the spirit of sorrow, man. Of wanting this, want, uh, of wanting the most high to let up. No. Let's get it, goddammit. You see, the Yahweh Shah told us to be to rejoice and be exceeding glad. Bro, the end of, hey, the end of our captivity is right around the fucking corner. The end of Babylon the Great is here, man. The end of our captivity is here. We just have to finish this little, this little stretch during the time of Jacob's trouble, bro, and it's over. You see? So you see the red letter. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai giving us commandment. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. You're supposed to be in the spirit of, of being fervent and pushing forth these videos. Of getting some reading in. Of wanting to do the work of the Lord on the highways and byways, man. Rejoice to be exceeding glad, man. We're watching the, the downfall and the demise of our enemies, man. And it's beautiful. You see? All these things our forefathers have been longing for are at hand, right before us, man. But we must be persecuted to fully to, to come fully into it. But hey. We have a great reward in heaven, as the Lord Yahweh is telling us right here. So, Matthew 5. Whew, 
shit. That heel kicked my ass. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. You see that? For, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. This ain't nothing new, man. All of the righteous men and the true believers went through some type of persecution, some type of hell, some type of affliction, some type of suffering. On behalf of the Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shine, guess what? We all have an, an award waiting. A reward. See the true teachers, the true shepherds, the true preachers, we're gonna keep you in the right spirit. We're not just gonna goddamn send you out here and not be prepared for the battle. You see, because we actually genuinely care for the flock, man. You see? We're taking care of our Lord's sheep as we have been commanded to do. You see, because we love him and we love his father. You see? So this is why we put our life on the line each and every day, each and every week. You see? Sacrificing time to make sure we get this edification out for the what? For the remnant. You see? We're not out here in the spirit of hirelings, man. We out here generally, man. We out here because we genuinely care for the flock, you know, and we shit. We want to see our nation taken from out the bottom, man. This is the process for that to happen. So we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing it through the spirit, man. And hey, don't be stuck with man. No matter what you got going on in your fucking life, you know, because hey, Satan, Satan is fucking coming with it. You see? I'm trying to get that brother through the trying to get that brother through the water. Trying to get that brother through the water. Through their living situations, through their vehicle situations, trying to get our brothers through their bodies and flip their minds with all type of demons. Satan is fucking coming with us, like the apostle, like Yahweh Shah told the apostle Peter, man. Satan looking to sit, uh, sift you, man. You see, and we're in the same life. So don't let whatever you're going through have you uh turn to the right or to the left, man. Keep your eye focused, get laser locked in, you know. And we're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. World War III is brewing up. The MOTB is on the horizon. You see? And before you know it, man, our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to be overhead and every eye shall see him according to prophecy, man. So, hey, let's fucking fight. Let's finish this race. Because, hey, the crowns, they await us, man. You see? They await. It's prophesied the remnant which shall receive the victory, and that's exactly what it's going to be. To hell with what the fuck Esau doing, man. He's he's only doing what our Heavenly Father has programmed him to do. Nothing more, nothing less. So with that, man, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that I out there. Pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba.